Hello guys, uh, so this is the part 2 of the previous lab where uh, in the previous lab I showed you all how to configure OSPF uh, using area 0 on all the routers now this is a bit different kind of thing because I'm using multi area OSPF and I'm using a backbone area over here and I have different areas which are directly connected uh, this is what Cisco recommends uh, for you to directly connect multi areas to the backbone area so that the different areas inject their routing topology into the uh, backbone area and upon which uh, the backbone area will spread the uh, routing information to the other areas through its border area border router so let's get started so let's start configuring a backbone area and move accordingly so tap enable before that uh, i have already configured the interfaces but i've not configured the uh, ospf on the routers so as you can see i've already configured so that takes a bit of a time to configure the interfaces so i don't want to make a, this lab uh, long enough so I'll just start with the OSPF processes so router OSPF 1 uh, network is uh, um, before that do show IP route this will tell me the directly connected uh, routes next to me so what I need to type in here network uh, uh, 19 uh, sorry 11 dot 22 dot 33 dot 64 and uh, 28 uh, which is uh, 15 I guess yeah yeah <coughs> excuse me and the area 0 the big one area and the other network is the 22.33.44.0 with the 0 0.0.0.15 so the area is uh, 0 all right I did a slight mistake where uh, uh, this is not an area zero because this is this network so that network is in area four so pardon me what i should do is if you want to uh, redo this thing then type in just no in front of that command and will it will take away that so if it's ready to show run it will have only this route and if i say Okay, eleven. Oh, all right. There's four. So only two networks will connected. And let's start with this one. Enable on the router SPF one. Uh, to show IP route. Network uh, 22 33.4.0.0.0.0.2.1.5 and its area is 0. Uh, right now, it should form adjacency between the two routers. And all right, so if I uh, do Alright, what is this area? Area 2. So, and 16. Alright. Let's go over here. Do quantity. Uh, to SPF 1. Uh, to show IP route. Network. Uh, 
should form adjacency so this is has form adjacency now let us configure the other two routes in the serial link uh, these two links network uh, 33 and the area is I uh, guess 3 and the next one is uh, 16 increment of 16 is yeah so if i say to show so right i wanted to show you all show IP OSPF neighbor so 22 all right then this is a dr vdr and dr other mm, and uh, just in case if you wanted uh, let's say this was your dr and this was your bdr but you wanted this one to be your dr all you have to do is go in that particular interface and type in IP USP sorry USPF priority and give it a priority of it starts from 1 to 0 sorry 0 to 255 by giving it the highest priority this will always be the BDR sorry DR and if you want to make uh, this router as a DR interface for 0 slash 0 and give it a priority of less priority lower than the dr so this is your vdr so that's about it and so let's start configuring uh, remaining routers i guess i've already configured that so run all right I did configure this so let's get started with this table on t router spf uh, um, what is that i can use one as well but i use different id process id uh, same as the area i want to show ip route and network um, is uh, 33.44.55.0.0.0.0.15 and I guess this should form adjacency I'm not mistaken all right and 32 exit out of there go over here all right Conte uh, router SPF three to show IP route network three four five sixteen zero 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 dot one five area three and all right and area forty eight to show run these are your statements and if I go over here and book on T route OSPF3 to show IP route network 334455 dot uh 48 Right, how many adjacencies? Uh, if uh, the route is not forming adjacencies between the neighbor router, then there's some problem with it. You need to uh, diagnose the problem or troubleshoot it. Uh, try to bring that interface down and uh, 
uh, uh, I mean shut down the interface and bring it up again if that works for you or maybe you are not uh, doing the uh, 1464 uh, configuration properly that's why it's not forming HSNCs just make sure you are typing the network commands properly uh, and exit to show IP uh, route uh, it, it has learned about the routes directly connected in the learn from the OSPF about this one this one mm, and uh, that network backbone area network which is uh, this one and this one and this one I hope uh, th this one and this one I guess yeah 44.16 and 44.0 yeah not this one because we have not configured this router yet and if I look on the router OSPF what is that OSPF area 2 2 to show IP route and if I type in network for 4.32 the, uh, sorry, 2 and 16. This should form adjacencies. Uh, yep. Yeah. And if you also can type if you don't want to uh, let the others. So the passive interface will. Uh, uh, not send out uh, or not participate in the advertisement. Uh, sorry, the uh, passive interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 when applied to an interface. In let's say right now we are in uh, configuring OSPF, it will not uh, participate in the OSPF neighbor relationship, but it will advertise its network, but it uh, will not participate in the uh, LSAs, it will sorry, it will not uh, send out the uh, perform like uh, the uh, router performs um, hello packets between each other to f uh, check if uh, uh, the, uh, the particular router is alive or not. They it's basically saying hello, Mr. Router, are you still there? Something like that. So it will not form that kind of uh, processes. But it will advertise the network. The uh, this network, sorry. Uh, this will advertise uh, this network, but because uh, 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 if this PC wants to send anything over here, uh, this has to know that this network is available. But uh, this uh, network will not form uh, uh, OSPF and participate in the neighbor OSPF. Uh, relationship so that's how it works so I type in enter route so right so this is over here this network the passive interface which you have created right now and uh, if we try to ping this PC uh, 33, 44, 55, 78 I guess 78 all right we are getting a ping and we have to configure these routers as well. And go on router OSPF. I don't know what it is. Four. To show IP route network. Mm, 
64 right so SPF info right network Should form adjacency. All right. So let's go ahead and configure this one as well. To SPF info, show IP a route network dot thirty three dot sixteen. Right, uh, did some mistake. Dot eight dot one five. Area four. Yes. Area five. Right. Right. Uh, forming adjacent series. This one will also form adjacent series. Right. Uh, Zero. Let's save interface. Phase zero. Phase zero. Right. So. SPF three. Let's save interface. Yeah. Right. So if I try to ping from here to there and the other PC as well, then we are done. Twenty-eight, all right. And that one I hope is twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, dot uh, forty-eight, forty-seven, forty-six. Yep. So I guess you all know how to do how to configure the uh, different areas directly connected to the backbone area and if you still have any problem please let me know so thanks for watching